Hello there, welcome to Rio to Tokyo where we take you on our adventures as foreigners living in Japan and explain things and stuff. My name is Tuki. I'm Sabrina. And Sabrina, where are we today? We are in this beautiful island of Naoshima mm. in the Jitsutsu Sea It's like a camping area, very laid back. And to be honest with you, this does remind me of some mood of Brazilian island. So. Hope you enjoy as much as we do. We're here in Kobe tonight. Yeah, why are we here? Well, I love Kobe, first of all. That's the city hall. I love the breeze. Yeah, it's pretty hot these days. Yeah. I'm sorry for the curse word. But it's like summer. Somewhere in Japan is like horrible. Somewhere in Kansai, the area, the area where Kobe is, is even worse. I think the entire Japan is pretty absurd now. Yeah. Do you want to show their map? Oh yeah, here. Here we are. We have a map. Wow. You see that? We are here. And you see this map? You see this? North is there. Don't ask. This is a thing in Japan. Like it's it's like the orientation. North is not always up. This is. Get used to that. But we it are is heading what it is. Here. And we are heading here down to the, the port, port exactly. area. And why are we going there? Well, we are going to take a ferry boat. Okay. We are here in Kobe port and we just got our tickets for the ferry boat. And since we don't speak really Nihongo, but we have an idea of how to do things, we will explain to you how you do that. So, important part. All the ferry tickets are very hard to get online, even for Japanese people. So we went to this agency, it's a Japanese travel agency. We went to the one that is at uh, Kyoto Station. Right in front of Kyoto Station, there's the Kyoto Tower. We got it there. They made all the reservations. That's the second time they gave me all the support. So they gave me a voucher, like this one here. This is the way back. And they gave me also a map of how to get here. So they are really, really good. And once we got here... And they have English-speaking stuff. Yeah, Very perfect. good English, yeah. In many languages. And here we many arrived. Languages. They, we are supposed to fill up this form with basic information. The only things you actually have to do is like your name, um, your destination, and if you're buying one way or round trip. And round trip, you get discount. So that's why we got it. And with that said, we are getting ready. And we're gonna board very soon. And Actually, regarding filling in the form, sorry to interrupt you. You can fill in your name and like maybe the phone number if you have, and then you go just to the guy at the counter and show him the reservation ticket and he fills. Like but the ticket is like this: no English, only Japanese kanji characters. So be sure to know where you're heading to. It might be too late to head back. And if you have time before boarding, then you should go up to the terrace here in Kobe Port and enjoy the view. It's beautiful actually and it's very dark, so but check out our photos. Mm. Yeah, Kobe Bay is a beautiful area. You won't regret if you come here. Shikoko Smile Station. Hello guys. Good morning. I have my Shikoku hat here. That means we are in Shikoku. We just made it out of the ferry boat for Kobe. Uh, we're here in Takamatsu now and desperately looking for food. It's and 6 a.m. So yes. the port, the transport terminal, is like the passenger's terminal is not the same than the cargo one. No. But there's a free bus available. So by the time you get off of the ferry, there's a huge line. Just wait there and there will be a bus. We need some energy and then we keep you updated. Welcome to Shikoku Island. Life is much simpler here. We still haven't had no breakfast. Shops are closed. Opening soon. Come, it's 6 a.m. I mean, people get up at 4 in Japan. Here we are on the very fancy ferry boat to Naoshima from Takamatsu. Last night we were super tired, we just wanted to go on the ferry and then we shared uh, like this ferry boat, this cargo boat with 5 million other people 
<laughs> no cabins, just like, you know, sleep. But it was like uh, around $25, right? So it's, it's a fair price. So $20. We went, $20. We went from Takamatsu to, uh, we went from Kobe to Takamatsu, took in the morning in Takamatsu the boat ride here to Naoshima and have been here ever since in the morning. It's just past noon, super hot. What have we done today, Sabrina? Well, we've gone to two of the best art museums here in Naoshima. Mm. Uh, both of them uh, were this, uh, built and designed by the famous uh, Japanese architect Tadao Ando. He's my favorite Japanese architect. It's, it's amazing. You should definitely check it out. If not for the art pieces itself, like, I mean, the buildings are art pieces. And so it's amazing. Yeah, and I fell in love with his work after I came to Naoshima. So it's great to go back mm -hmm. and, re and remind the reasons why I like him so much. The island itself is very small actually. You can take a bus ride around it in like 15 minutes. You go like, you can tour around. Um, and you have like art pieces everywhere. Like, how do you say, outside, what, what was it called? Open air museum. O open air. It's an open air museum. By the way, we can see some of them from here. You see the pumpkin on yeah. the right side. You see some. Yeah. Like you did, it's, it's quite far. The camera oh. doesn't pick that up. Okay. It's tiny. We'll try to ride a bicycle. Um, yes. The island has some ups and downs, so many hills. Uh, hopefully, we can survive. But for now, we did not sleep more than four hours, so we're really tired. Uh, but it's amazing, yeah. nevertheless, great experience. Yeah, yeah, it's worth it, but it's, it's good to take a break to recover the energy. So here now we are closer to the pumpkin in the back there, just a real quick update. And here you see one of the Benes houses, like the, the hotel. luxury hotels, hotel. And, and not to confuse, like there's a Benes house, there's a Benes museum. It's like, so. The museum is part of the hotel yeah. and the, ho the whole structure is called house. And here I feel oh, you like jumping in the water. Um, not that I think there's a Looks lot. Looks pretty of, okay. Yeah, yeah. Pretty okay. Let me check it out. <laughs> Hello. I think I'm tired. So we're sitting here on this art project thing actually. It's very interesting, right? So it's not just for watching, but you can actually touch for once, you know. This one is from the French. Amazing. Sometimes all you need is a calm island and a sunset while watching the sea. Here we are in one of the main kabochas, Japanese pump thing we have here in Naoshima. And after coming here, I realized I really love pumpkins, especially the ones designed by Yaoi Kusama, the ones with the polka dots. And here it's an amazing view in front of the port. You can see the sunset starting there. Amazing, you should be here to come to Naoshima. I'm here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our quarters for tonight. Which it looks like we're in the Southeast Asia, but we're actually in Japan. No, yeah. <laughs> Here in Naoshima, it's a tent. It's close to the yellow Kusama pumpkin. And it's actually quite amazing. It's like a quite big tent for four people, as you see. And we paid like... $40 a night per person, but actually the room idea. fits up to four. So if you have four people, it would be around $20 each. So the 80, 80 dollars is for the whole thing. And, and then you split it among each other. Yes, right? so and you s there are still, um, there are few hostels around here. You're gonna pay the same thing for a, a 10 bedroom uh, dorm room here. Mm -hmm. So that's a good option for friends, uh, for families, and even for couples like us. We have our own privacy and our, we can drop our stuff, lock the room and, and go for a walk. Deal. One of our main concerns during the daytime when we arrived here was that it like this tent heats up like really crazy. It felt like hell in, in here in a sauna that was in a here. Sauna. And we thought like and there's no AC, right? The only thing we have is this fan there. And we were like, oh my god, I won't be able to sleep tonight. But now actually returning at nighttime, the area is 
it's pretty very, fresh, very pretty cool, cool down. Yeah. It's like perfect. And, uh, and so the main point of staying here is the whole atmosphere is right, right in front of the beach. And there's a community, lots of people, families and children. So the lights are on, people are having parties, barbecue. So it does feel like summer. It's great. Sugoi. See you soon.